Hi, this is Justin Emerson. Today I'm going to show you how to circuit bend a Roland TR505 drum machine. Turn on your 505 and start playing a pattern. Take your connector wire and make connections between different pins. There's many great sounding bends right here on IC9, which is the sample ROM, and ICs 5, 6, 7, and 8, which all process the samples in some way. When you find two connections that make a good sounding bend, make a note and write down all the connections that you find. Uh, the tricky part will be coming up with an interface for controlling all these bends. You can use toggle switches, or push buttons, or a patch bay, or whatever you can come up with. I've also found that potentiometers can be used instead of switches, so instead of just an on and off, you can blend the effect in. I used uh, 1 and 5k pots. For this project, your mileage may vary. You can also try using just your fingers instead of wire. It helps if they're a bit moist. And when you find two points that make a good touch bend, in order to make that permanent, you could wire them to metal hardware that you mount to the outside of the case. And then you would touch the hardware to activate that bend. Instead of just using plain wire, try using other components like capacitors or LEDs to bridge points on the circuit board. You can either just probe around with both leads of the component or you can connect the ground lead to ground and probe around with the other lead. With LEDs, for example, you'll find blinking logic pulses and capacitors can be used as simple one-pole audio filters. So, for example, the 505 has eight audio channels that can be isolated. They're normally mixed together at the output. And here I found the hi-hat channel. I'm using a 104 cap, and when I connect it to this point, it dulls the hi-hat sound. And all the other channels are here as well. So by adding a 10k pot in line with the capacitor, it'll make the filter sweepable. And you could do that times eight for all the audio channels. So here's my finished project. Obviously I didn't cover woodworking or laser cutting in this video, but you don't need to go all out with case design to get some really great sounds out of this machine. I hope this video got you started on the right path. Thanks for watching, and as always, check out burnkit2600.com for more circuit bending projects.